did I? Oh, we're on. Okay. All right, let's do it. I'll have a seat here. You can join me if you like. I guess I will, you know. Maybe, you don't have to. Just be... Oh, okay. Well, then, yeah, it, it can be the Kenny show. It can be the Chris and Kenny show without Chris. How's that sound? Yeah, that's fine. I've actually had that happen before. before. <laughs> so, anyway. Um, How's it going? Oh, Peace. it's, it's good, uh, to, good to see you again. Yeah, it's Chris. And Kenny. And this is the Chris. And Kenny. Show. Welcome. Welcome. And today, uh, episode so, number four. Episode number four. We made it. Oh, man. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's great to be back. It is great to be back. It's great to see all you people out there, too. Hi. Hopefully, it's good that you're seeing us right now, too. Let's hope so. That's fingers crossed. Okay, so anyway, um, today we are, we're thinking about things. Um, as you may know, it is getting a little bit closer and closer to October 31st. And as many of you people know out there, that's, what is that? that's Halloween. Oh, it is? It is. Wow. Yeah, Jeez. it's coming up already. Yeah, it's this what, week. Yeah, that's this Friday. Yeah. Wow, the end of it. It's the end of in the it's the end of October. All right, now let me ask you this. Yes. What happened to July Fourth? Does anybody remember July Fourth? Very vaguely. Where did it go? Not a clue. Where what? did it go? Uh, is, is that it over there? No, that's not it. No. Wait a minute. It's, it's back there. No. Way back there. Uh, it's, it's it's way behind us. I need binoculars. Exactly. So our topic, as he said, is Halloween, and we were figuring with um with the show that we're in right now, we've been rehearsing. Night right? of January sixteenth, the Stained Glass Playhouse. Yes, first three weekends of uh, November. And I go back to our previous video, and you can watch all about it, and uh, you'll be there and get your tickets right now. We'll see you there. Exactly. Um. With the, with the rehearsals and running lines and everything, our my, my mind and my mind has just been completely fried. And to be honest with you, I was really looking forward to Halloween, but now I'm not, I'm really not in the Halloween spirit. Not so much. What about you? Um, I'm pretty much feeling the exact same way. Um, we had discussed what we were going to do with Halloween uh, before we started doing the show. And um, we were getting excited. Well, at least I was getting excited. I was getting excited. You were too. And, yeah. Um, we went through Marilyn's uh, costume closet, my wife. She has a costume closet. It's got uh, almost 200 costumes. And we were going through it, you know, a few months ago. And, oh, you know, maybe I can wear this. Maybe I can wear that. Hey, we can be this and that and the other thing. Mm -hmm. Now we're getting excited. I was getting really excited, you know, and thinking about the candy. And last year, uh, Chris came over to our house. And um, we passed out candy like, you know, normal people do. And, uh... We had a great time, you yeah. know. We dressed up. I was uh, uh, a guy from the army. I think you were the Joker. I was. I was actually the Joker's um, Joker's brother. I was the Jester. The Jester. The, Joker, the Jester. Yeah, the Joker's cousin, Jester. Exactly. And so we had a great time with that. And then, of course, later on, we went to Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme. And get our uh, got our free donuts. Free there. donut. Krispy Kreme. It's a tradition we've carried on for about three years now. Exactly. Going on uh, year number four. But one. Uh, uh, I, I hate to interrupt you, but that's right. Halloween night. Go to Krispy Kreme. Oh, yeah, go. go. Uh, with your costume on, you get a free donut. Exactly. So keep going. Sorry I, about that. I mean, who doesn't like a free donut, exactly. especially at Krispy Kreme? Exactly. But anyway, yeah, we had a blast with that. You know, this will be the fourth year we've done that mm -hmm. uh, tradition. Uh, but I'm not really feeling it this year. Neither am I. I don't know about you, but uh, you people out there. But uh, I'm just not feeling it. And you know what? I've actually just discovered, well, not discovered, but I've been thinking about this for a while. It seems that as I get older, I'm 31 years old now, and as I'm getting older, it's just like Christmases, birthdays, Halloween. Those things have become like, I don't know, it's hard to describe it. To me, this I don't get excited over mm -hmm. them anymore as much as I used to. Yeah. And um, it's just like, oh, okay, it's my birthday. All right, great. You know, mm -hmm. excitement is kind of gone. Yeah. I don't know if um, if you feel the same way or whatever, but it's just the thrill is 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 departing. It's it's going out that way, out, out the window, and out that window. There it goes. Bye. Hope you come back soon. But um, let us know in the comments um, if you've experienced this um, mm -hmm. based on age or whatever. Or um, what do you think is the cause for that? What do you think is the reason? I mean, it could be. Could be age, could be, you know, the fact that, you know, maybe you have your very own car now that you're paying on for all you teenagers out there. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe you got a first job and now you have responsibilities. Yeah. I mean, t to me, it's just, I'm getting older, you know, I'm married now. Um, 
And it's just because I'm have, I have a whole lot more things on my mind now rather than, ooh, 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 I can't wait to see what I'm getting for Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> yeah. The thrill of it for me is is departing. Like I said, off the windows. Mm -hmm. You guys can't see them, but they're there. Yeah. Um, so, I, yeah. I'm excited about this much compared to last year's this much. You know? But, um, who knows? Maybe maybe by tomorrow or Thursday it'll be it'll you know I'll be more excited. But I, yeah, to me right now I'm just not feeling. Okay. Yeah. Well, for for me, Halloween this year, I think if I wasn't in a show and I, I didn't have if my mind wasn't focused on the show and focused on my lines and focused on memorizing yeah. my lines and everything, I would be a whole lot more excited and a whole lot more. I, I'd be I'd be more prepared okay uh for halloween you know with the yeah. costume and uh do, what am i gonna do you know talk about going to uh, go see carrie the musical for halloween at the um, theater alliance at theater alliance this friday um or uh hanging out with you and passing out candy or you know like say going to krispy kreme yeah. get our free donut free donut 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 but i think it's just with me it's that you know because of where my mind is right now with the show that's why I'm not looking forward. I mean, I'm not really. Halloween's just like, yeah, I really don't care. I'll probably just, <laughs> yeah. you know, I'll, I'll still go see Carrie. But I, I originally actually wanted to go see Carrie in my Halloween costume. Okay. But since you know I'm not dressing up for Halloween, I'm just gonna go see the show and be done with it. Now with Christmas and my birthday, my birthday I used to be excited. Yeah. But now because it's always like, oh man, what am I gonna do now? Yeah. You know. Uh, am I gonna go somewhere? Am I gonna do something? But now, you know, I've I've realized that like last year I was excited because I actually went to Tucson. Okay. Um, I lived in Tucson for three and a half years, and I went back last year, first time in uh, actually three years that I went back, and I loved it. I actually got to see some people from from work, mm -hmm. see some people from church. It was awesome, man. I met new I made new friends and. The cool thing was my friend Sarah, Sarah Deerdorf. Shout out to Sarah. Hey Sarah. Hey Sarah. Uh, bubbles. <laughs> um, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> inside joke. Yeah. Um, she actually, we, uh, she actually came up with a pool party, and she invited uh, the group from church uh, the same day that it was my birthday. And when we got there, she was like, "Okay, guys, you know it's." Uh, you know, we are here to, you know, fellowship and have fun and everything. Mm -hmm. But also, it's Chris's birthday, so, you know, if we could just sing happy birthday to him. And everybody did it, you know. These, these people had only known me for like two or three days, and they still sang happy birthday to me like they knew me for years. <laughs> and that was pretty awesome. That's awesome, man. Yeah. I, like, I love that. Uh, yeah. I think um, now, you know, that I'm 31, you know, I, I realize I really haven't done much with my life. <laughs> yeah. And... I know that feeling. I need, you know, it's just to the point where I need, I need excitement. You know, I want to be excited for my birthday. Okay. But now it's just a regular day. You know, everybody's like, happy birthday. Yeah, whatever. It's like, oh yeah, it is my birthday. Yeah. It, yeah. Huh. But also with Christmas, I'm, oh man, I'm, me, I'm a big kid. So of course I'm always <laughs> going to be. I'm going to be excited for Christmas. Oh man, of what, course. And what did I get? I can't wait to see. My, my parents and my brother and my family's expressions when I give them the gifts that I, you know, that I got for them. Yeah, that is cool seeing that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty awesome to see their expressions and then also I still get that little, ten, you know, the little little four, five, six-year-old tingle of, oh, man, what did I get? <laughs> <laughs> what did I get? You know, it's, I, I still do get that, but the other things... You know, my birthday, I don't get excited that much. I need to start getting excited again. Like, I mean, I told, I've told a few people that one of these days for my birthday, I'm actually going to rent out the Chick-fil-A or McDonald's Play Place. Mm -hmm. I'm going to rent that out for the day, and all my <laughs> my friends that are 25 and up, we're going to, we're going to raise whole, you know, we're going to raise all types of cans. <laughs> We're going to have a mad blast in the play place at McDonald's for my birthday one day. Okay. We're going to go to Chuck E. Cheese, you know, or something like that. So, I mean, I, I want to do that, you know, but I don't, I don't get excited with my, for my birthday anymore, you know. And I, yeah, yeah. Um, I feel you. And with, like I said, with, with Halloween coming up, you know, if I wasn't in a show right now, 
I think I'd be a little bit more prepared and I'd little bit, be a little bit more excited for Halloween. But mm -hmm. since my my mind is just trying to get these lines memorized and trying to be off book and knowing that we have just a little over a week until opening night, yeah. it's just... Yeah. Yeah. Hey, no, no pressure. Yeah, no pressure. No, no pressure. But that's that's where I'm at, you know. And okay. I mean, next year if next year if I'm free and I don't have a show, then oh yeah, I mean I'm going all out on Halloween. Too. <laughs> you know, if there's another Halloween show going on, oh yes, full absolutely full regalia. You know, who knows what I'm going to be dressed up as? I'm Look, thinking it's completely ridiculous. Exactly as always, <laughs> especially on Halloween. Halloween, <laughs> yeah. Halloween is the one ha uh, holiday you're allowed to act. I mean, you're allowed to look ridiculous, and nobody will say anything to you. Nobody cares. It's socially acceptable. Exactly. Like, completely ridiculous. Exactly. I mean, there was one time where I went. This is so funny. I went. <laughs> Uh, trick or treating at the mall. My parents uh, took me to the mall to go trick or treating. I didn't have a costume on. And people would come. I would go up to them and they say, "Well, what are you, what are you dressed up as?" And I told them my twin brother. I don't have a twin brother. I just told them that I dressed up as my twin brother. Very clever. And my twin brother dressed up as me. <laughs> I mean, it's it works. You know. Exactly, it works. So that's where that's where I'm at. Okay. You know, I I would like to I would like to dress up, but I just don't see it happening. Yeah. yeah what about I mean? What about you? Yeah, I mean, I'll dress up. Uh -huh. I mean, you know. Well, also, uh, I, I I did hear you say earlier that you know you feel like you already had your Halloween. When you yeah, I did. I, I feel like I already had my Halloween. Um, my wife Marilyn and I we went to see Into the Woods at Twin City Stage not too long ago, and I dressed up as the Big Bad Wolf, and she dressed up as the Little Red Riding Hood. So that was you know, really cool. That was really cute. You know, we did that together or whatever. And uh, to me, I feel like that was our Halloween. You know, now granted, we did pass out candy or eat any candy not that I can remember but anyway um yeah the, well, the whole like, dressing up thing and moving out with um another couple of ours uh, Mark and Jennifer um, <laughs> and so we had a, we went to you know have to eat and then we went and go and saw the show and um to me I feel like that was Halloween you know but um let us know in the comments if you have any uh, traditions that you guys do or different ways you celebrate maybe um, we'd love to hear it oh definitely definitely and also let us know where where how you feel you know are you are you stressed out with your job or you know anything going on with you that you're not really uh prepared or you're not really looking forward to halloween or you just not doing anything for halloween like we were talking last night after we ran lines uh meryl was like you know we need to come over to your house and scare the kids i was like well i'm not gonna pass candy out of my house yeah and she said why and i was like well at my parents' old house, we didn't pass out candy for Halloween. At their house now, we don't pa we didn't pass out candy for Halloween. And now that I'm in my house, I'm not passing out candy for Halloween. The only time I pass out candy is I actually go to other people's houses and pass out candy. So that's the tra that's the tradition that I have. Um, yeah. One of the traditions that we have, of course, like we said, we went to Krispy Kreme. Of course. Um, I can't remember. We didn't go to the Foothills last year, did we? No, I don't think we did. We yeah. went the year before. Yeah, which was pretty cool. Yeah, it was brewery. They have a costume contest. So um, if, they, if that's your if that's your thing, you know, go for it by all means. Exactly. Have fun with it. Let us know if that's what you do. Yeah, and also, you know, like we said, there's um, Carrie's coming up, and mm -hmm. you know, if you're in Winston Salem, go see Carrie. You know, if you don't want to pass out, if you don't want to pass out candy to the kids, or you know, you, you, there aren't any kids in your neighborhood or anything like that, and you want something to go on Halloween, maybe you live in an apartment. Yeah. I've always wondered if they if they trick or treat in an apartment complex. You know? I lived in an apartment in Kernersville for about two years, and sadly, uh, not once do I remember um, any kids going around the different you know uh, mm -hmm. apartments with uh, with costumes on and hoping to get candy. I don't remember that at all. Okay. So I mean, maybe that's you. Maybe that's you live. Maybe you live in an apartment, or maybe you're you know 15 years old and think um, you know oh I'm getting worn out of this you know. Yeah. Halloween stuff, costumes, you know, suck, you know, I don't like doing this anymore. But um, let us know. I mean, we'd love to hear from you and Definitely. We'll try to, we'll do our best to get back with you and maybe we can carry on a conversation and get this ball rolling. You know? Exactly. And also, if you... That's what you we know, do here. We roll balls, you know. Exactly. Get them going. We shouldn't do. Okay. Um, you buy ball. Yeah. Um, also, you know, like I said, uh, leave comments in the comment section and um, subscribe to our page and also... If you have any videos, actually, we would like it if you actually replied to our video with a video. Oh, that way, a video we, reply. Exactly, a video like reply. That. that way we can, we can, um, 
we can comment in your in your video or we can have another uh, video where we reply to you and just have a video conversation or something like that you know absolutely and that way you know you can become fans of ours we can become fans of yours vice versa and um, yeah and just get this thing going exactly yeah. <laughs> I mean is there and also we we uh, we thought that you know we always have a topic of discussion and um, we decided to freestyle it and uh, you know Kenny was just talking about Halloween right before we started we started filming you know we were like that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna we're going to um, we're going to film about Halloween and then just freestyle it and we're just gonna be ourselves exactly. and hopefully you guys like it and if you don't then well we're not forcing you to watch this, so exactly. You can stop the tape whenever Please, you want. Please uh, click through to different videos if you like. Exactly. Now, another thing that I will that I will talk about that has to do with Halloween is okay. the, the Thirteen Nights of Halloween on ABC Family. Uh, they always have some uh, some interesting uh, movies and shows and everything. And the one thing that I have never it always comes on on, uh, on the oh man that's it. <laughs> oh, I guess we're gonna, have we to, we're gonna have to wait till till next week because that's the top, that's the alarm clock right there, saying that our time is up. So unfortunately, you won't be able to. And if you do go out this Halloween, be safe. There are children. Be very careful. Exactly. That's where you're going. Also, wear light colors, wear reflectors, whatever you have to. If you're going through the through the neighborhoods, to be safe, you know, wear the reflectors. That way, people know that you're walking. You're walking on the sidewalks. Like I said, be careful. Until next time, peace!